Welcome back. $18 million, that is how much Toledo residents owe in past due water and sewer bills. A huge chunk of change, especially as the city's dealing with a massive budget deficit. Tiffany Tarpley's live with what could be done to get the money back. So the idea is to allow the Department of Public Utilities to enter into contracts with multiple collections agencies. An amendment was introduced this afternoon in a committee meeting inside city council chambers. Higher-ups with the department even said they will improve the way they go after delinquent payments. During this hearing, there were questions and legal concerns raised about the potential fees that can be tacked on to those who are behind with the bill. In some cases, it could be as much as 25%. Still, if this goes through, it will bring money back into the city, not to use just anywhere, but for water-related services. But there is a significant amount of money that's owed to us from well over 360 days, and that's what we are intending to collect for the benefit of the ratepayers of the Department of Public Utilities. This money it goes into public utilities. It doesn't go into the general operating. However, we can still use that money to make sure that we provide, you know, quality for water treatment, public utilities. There's about eight divisions in there that we still have to run. Now, nothing is set in stone just yet, and as of right now, it hasn't gone to the full council for a vote. Tonight, the budgets for the Departments of Public Utilities, as well as Public Service, were discussed, and council members analyzed spending and revenue for the year, an important task considering the serious money issues the city is facing right now. Reporting live, Tiffany Tarpley, Fox Toledo News.